everybody. This is going to be a real quick video on the differences between banishings and bindings. Banishings are when you get rid of something, when you cut something completely out of your life. A binding, however, is when you restrict the movement of that energy, of that entity, whatever it may be. And by doing that, by, by using your energy and the universal energies <clears throat> and your will to bind that particular energy, you are in fact bringing it a little bit closer to you by mingling your energies with that particular thing that you want to bind. Um, so make sure that when you're thinking about doing um, like a dark moon ritual and you want to bind something or banish something, Make sure that what you want to actually banish, you're actually banishing and getting rid of, if you want to get rid of something. If you want to bind something, um, make sure that you're okay with having that particular energy a little bit closer to you. And also by binding the energy, um, you're creating a different energy field um, altogether around that particular um, entity because by binding the energy you are changing and um, restricting it. So the energy, it's kind of like, um, like a science class, like all molecules have, a, have a, a speed at which they move. And when you condense or bind together uh, you know, particular molecule, molecules and things, um, they have a tendency to build greater speed and greater energy. So be careful when you're binding things that you really know what you're doing, uh, you've really thought about the spells that you're going to do, uh, and eventually you're going to have to let that binding go. You're going to have to release the binding to um, basically put things back to um, a natural state. Uh, when you bind something and you leave it bound, sooner or later that binding is going to break and um, things can wreak havoc in your life if you don't uh, be careful with what you bind and um, if, especially if you leave it bound and don't um, release the binding. So anyway I hope you um, I hope this makes sense. I've tried to make this video a whole bunch of times and my dog keeps running a past and then I keep losing my train of thought and then yeah so I'm just gonna use this one. Um, I've actually gotten quite a few email, actually quite a lot of emails regarding this uh, topic, and so I figured um, I should just make a video about it so that I can refer my readers and watchers to it. Um, so um, I hope this has made sense. If not, please post a video response question or um, post a comment. And also, if you want to do a video response on your experiences with banishings and bindings, I would really love to hear your experiences. Um, I actually did um, a binding one time, and okay, I was um, the book that I read. This was very long ago. Um, I wanted to do a banishing, but the book said it was a binding. I mean, I don't. I mean. This was one of those things that I did as a really, really newbie and I didn't really realize the consequences of certain things and I didn't know the difference between a banishing and a binding at first. I mean, I just, I didn't realize it, I didn't think about it, all I knew was I wanted to get this particular thing out of my life, so I did a binding and it made it like a thousand times worse and then I realized, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, so. Um, if that's ever happened to you, if you have wanted to do a banishing but you did a binding or if you wanted to do a binding and you did a banishing, what's your experience on that um, and how did you fix it? Um, mine, when I realized what I did, I quickly went back to my BOS, I reversed the spell and then I redid it. Um, yeah, it was pretty interesting, let's just say that. So. Um, Make sure you know what you're doing if you're gonna, if you're gonna do magic because uh, it can really wreak havoc on your life. So anyway, blessed be, and I hope this is making sense. I kind of feel like I'm rambling, but anyway, okay, blessed be, bye.